You know, Eka, when I was growing up, we were consuming art, but as an, I wasn't aware it's art. So I wasn't aware that when a guy gets into his 325 IS, starts spinning it, and I get a ooze of inspiration, that was art in that moment. I wasn't aware that when Eskaran Gobese got the ball and the whole crowd went crazy, that I carried that inspiration into my schooling as, as, as art, you know? So I think for me is to then say, the consumption, we must layer the consumption. If it's monetary consumption, then there's an educational element that we then need to bring into the fold, which is still going to take time, right, for the people to come to the, sorry, for the people to jump in and come into the fold. But also there's the aspect of the ones who are consuming this particular product. What sort of, what, what sort of learning are we giving to them about where we come from and what the township looks like to make them more open-minded to these economies and when they're more open-minded to them they're able to then spend more and I guess when they're able to spend more then I'm able to then as an individual say I want to consume this particular art because you know I, I'm yet to meet a uh, thing I'm yet to meet people amazing people like bad people because we love beautiful things you know one of the best art pieces that we have is our gates you know that's where a mother expresses her creative you know verbose or creative powers in saying to a welder, I want the best gates in the land. No, no, not that material not that one take a black, not that one because I want when they pass here to see my artistic expression. So for me, it's always been about the moment where they educate those ones about what's going on, they become open-minded to coming in and spending more. The moment they spend more, then they're able to spend more into me where I'm able to actually go out and buy art like I'm doing now. And I think that then becomes then the cycle of knowledge where you're opening up people into spaces and educating them in that particular manner while empowering them at the same time. Thank you, sir. Thank you for that question. Any other questions or comments? Question? Comment from the floor. Going once, going twice. Coach, any more questions you have? Is that a hand? No. Any questions you have, Coach? Any last questions? So I, I, I've got a question, right? And I asked this question to Talifani as well. If we were to strip you naked and take away everything that you have, your businesses, yeah your connections, your friendships, your relationships, and obviously leave you with your family. Strip you naked. What would you, what would you do? What would, you, what would be your first step and what would be the process to rebuild what you've built over the years? Uh, so, I mean, with, with no connections? Zero connections. Okay, <laughs> so I can't go to the people I know. No. So I'm stripped of everything, but I need to what, rebuild. We leave you with your knowledge. But my knowledge, yes. Ah, it's easy. I go, I go get a job. You go get a job. I go get a job and I work for free. Because if I go get a job and I ask them to pay me, they won't give me the same level of attention. But if I ask for a job and I ask to work for free and I overwork myself, I'm, going, I'm not gonna just going to get the attention of my manager. I'm going to get the attention of the owner. The moment I get the attention of the owner and I add more value, I'll get a seat at the table with the owner. The moment I get a seat at the table, then I have affinity with the owner, meaning that he likes me. Then I do more things that the owner likes, and I start to ask the owner, not how can you help me, but how can I help you? I never ask for money. The moment I do that, then I can bring anything to the table. Why? Because I'm positive deposit. I've got positive deposits. Okay. So one of my mentors says years ago, um, he's, you know, he's done extremely well and all that stuff. And one, 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 in, one black billionaire in the country calls him. And he says, listen, you know, I like you. Uh, so my PA found your number somewhere. I'm, I'm whoever, but anyway, I like the work that you do. Uh, I'd like you to organize my daughter's 16th birthday party. Then in that moment, he felt a bit offended, but then he held himself back and said, hey, but the person who called me is very wealthy. <laughs> But then he then said, oh, no, no, okay, cool. No, no, sir, I hear you. Okay, no, I'll come see you whenever. He, he meets him quickly. He says, here's my PA. You'll talk to my PA. Just, I love the way you move. I don't know how you move, but I've seen some of your songs or whatever. Plan my daughter's 60th birthday party. I, 
He then goes, he then thinks, you know what, I'm going to make the best of this. He calls his industry peers. They plan this birthday party. This birthday party is great. Some industry peers are there. It goes amazingly well. On the day of the birthday, he says to him, this is beautiful what you've done for my daughter. I love it, but you've not sent your invoice yet. He says, no, it's on me. He says, what do you mean it's on me? What do you mean that it's on me? You know, what he had done in that moment, he had captured the attention of someone get captured. So, so we, we capture attention in different ways. You will capture my attention as someone who's very influential and who's got money. And I'll say, Mr. Mdaga's doing amazing work. No, I like that young man. He's doing amazing work, but I'll never actually give you money or do work with you. I'll never, I'll never like your work so much that I pause what I'm doing and come and do, give you money or come and even work with you. Right? But the moment you are able to capture my attention, now, behind this question, what do you give a man or a woman who's got everything they want? In this particular case, who's got all the money in the world, you take away their, you take away their ability to utilize what they've worked hard for, which is their money. We take away their privilege for them to pay for what they've always wanted to be able to pay for. You take away the option to say, I've got enough money to be able to buy whatever I want. Now suddenly they can't afford something. What then then grants you is audience with them. What they then did is it granted them an audience not just to know each other and say we've got each other's number, but to relate and be able to spend time with each other. But they translated into four years later, hey, young man, listen, come to my office. There's a deal we're working on. I've already instructed them. You know, it's 30 million rand. It's coming to you. Whether you do it or you don't do it, that money is coming to you. Because it's crumbs that are falling off a table where we are negotiating deals. But because you are the right values fit, then you are the one who wins. And I think that's the layer to entrepreneurship and growth. At some point, I need the best product to, be, to get audience in the market. But at some point, I get deals purely because I'm able to relate with Mr. Mdaga, who's controlling a certain part of the economy very well. But I'm not giving him kickbacks because the reality of life and business, people do business with people that they like. People do business with people that they like. People buy products from brands that they like. So any product or anyone who's building any product or service, the one who's building a service needs to productize. The one who's already productized needs to find ways needs to find ways of winning over the neurological parts in people's brains, so much so that people are able to acclaim a certain industry to you. So which is why it makes sense when my uncle, whenever I used to visit my uncle Mtanza, and I deprive him of buying him alcohol, and then he then opts out for the cool drink option, he says, okay, you know, so everything within that cool drink category is assimilated to that Coca-Cola. Yeah. So it makes sense then in Colgate, this was minted in P, Colgate. The long thing in Colgate, it minted in P, the long thing in Colgate, yes, since I died. Or oh, yeah, aqua fresh. Oh, yeah, aqua fresh. Why? Right, because they are then segmenting <laughs> themselves in that market. Yeah, thank you. This was so nice. Perfect. No chill. Yo, yo, Welcome. Yo. <laughs> uh, you. you have to stand here, Chief. Hey. In front of the camera. <laughs> I just had wine. I don't, I don't want to fall. Um, 